becoming a rebel, human beings are in a perpetual state of rebellion against failure and unhappiness, reflecting an innate desire for freedom. However, due to unclear thinking, many individuals squander their capacity for constructive rebellion. In essence, people rebel against the wrong aspects of their lives, misdirecting their protests towards external conditions and missing the true focal point. The attention should not be on the external world, rather, it should be directed inward, towards oneself. A person falls into a self-made trap when they believe that by altering their political views, changing their partner, relocating, or adopting a different religion, they have genuinely transformed their circumstances. In reality, they have merely exchanged one prison cell for another, a truth that lies deep within their heart, even if they are not willing to confront it. Failing to acknowledge this reality compels them to rebel repeatedly against external conditions, yielding the same hollow results. So, what should be the focus of our rebellion? What is the logical and rewarding target? There is only one thing worth rebelling against, our own negative, unrealistic, or unworkable states of mind. True freedom lies in this pursuit, and nowhere else. When a person corrects their mental processes, every external condition effortlessly falls into place. Consider a person's mental forces as several independent armies, each seeking to defeat a common enemy. If these forces remain separate, unaware of each other, or in disagreement, their collective impact will be less than optimal. However, when they unite in a shared purpose, nothing can withstand their combined strength. Similarly, when we unite all our mental powers, presenting a unified front, our triumphs in life become inevitable.